Minister has more of a political emergency on his hands than a national emergency. The borders at Coote, Surrey, Windsor and Emerson have all been cleared. There are no more blockades at any borders. Trucks are still here downtown in Ottawa and they need to move. But in light of the rapidly changing landscape, can the Prime Minister tell us where is the serious threat of violence to Canadians for ideological purposes, which is the threshold that needs to be met for the Emergencies Act? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the invocation of the Emergencies Act is not something to be done lightly. It is not something to be done as a first resort or even a second resort. But it was necessary to be done to give local law enforcement across the country the tools to handle these illegal blockades, uh, to be able to ensure uh, restoration of order, to make sure that Canadians, uh, whether they're losing shifts or, or seeing supplies delayed on the way through the borders, uh, be able to get back uh, to their daily lives. This is a decision we took and of course uh, Parliament is going to have an opportunity to debate it. The Leader of the Opposition. to Canadians' fundamental freedoms must be justified and must meet a legal criteria. Experts across the country have said these requirements have not been met. The Prime Minister hasn't given Canadians a clear reason why he's invoking the Emergencies Act. In fact, things are de-escalating as we speak. So why is the Prime Minister using this hammer on Canadians? Isn't it true he's doing it just to save his own political skin? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, over the past few weeks, Canadians have been suffering, whether it's uh, because of border crossings, uh, whether it's because of illegal blockades in their neighbourhoods. Uh, this is something uh, that required extra tools that we have put in law enforcement's hands. Now, of course, law enforcement, local law enforcement of jurisdiction, can use these tools or not as they are available. But the threshold was met for the Emergencies Act, and now across the country, police of jurisdiction have the tools necessary to keep people safe. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. The Prime Minister calls people he disagrees with racist, misogynist. He spent the last month wedging, dividing, stigmatizing and traumatizing Canadians. I understand the Prime Minister admires basic dictatorships, but let's remind the Prime Minister this is Canada, this is not a dictatorship. The Prime Minister is actually pouring gasoline on embers. Isn't it true the Prime Minister is doing this for one reason and one reason alone? It's to save his own political career. The right Honourable Prime Minister. The Conservatives simply can't have it both ways. They spent weeks complaining that we weren't doing enough uh, to restore order in this country. And now uh, we move forward to give people the tools they need. I'm going to have to interrupt the Honourable Prime Minister, the right Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, you know, I've been getting uh, emails from people who are watching us at home, and they're pretty ashamed of their parliament because of the shouting that goes on. One person brought something up. They said, well, all the shouting happens at the beginning. Why not start with the end questions? If this continues at the beginning, I'm going to the last question, turn my list upside down, and we'll start at the end. The Honourable Prime Minister, please continue. Mr. Speaker, Conservatives can't have it both ways. They spent the first few weeks of this uh, challenge and illegal blockades saying that the government needed to act and take responsibility. Uh, and then when we finally moved forward in a responsible way, when the time was right to bring in the Emergencies Act, they are now complaining uh, that we've done too much. At the same time and throughout, Mr. Speaker, they continue to stand with and support and cheer on these illegal blockades. Mr. Speaker, they're the ones playing politics. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. From the man who wore blackface more times than he can remember, took a terrorist with him to a trip for, on India, gave Omar Qadar $10 million. We're not going to stop talking to our constituents just because the Prime Minister disagrees with them. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister says he's following science when it comes to mandates, but that's not what Canada's top doctors 
leaders are saying it's time to end the mandates and the restrictions. The Prime Minister is ignoring the science. There is a mental health crisis in this country and continued lockdowns and mandates keeping Canadians separated are making it worse. So will the Prime Minister commit to Canadians who will follow the science? Well, Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the invocation of the Emergencies Act is something that is extremely serious and that we have taken extremely seriously. Uh, it followed specific steps that were taken that will continue in this House. It followed consultation with the Premiers. Uh, and it uh, gives the tools in a proportionate and responsible way uh, to the officers of jurisdiction to be able to end these illegal blockades. Uh, this will be a moment that will be studied in the history books. And what the people will see was the Conservatives never stop playing personal partisan politics. Thank you. Thank you.